you see all my years in lagos if they had told me there are more than three markets that they sell okrika akube bill in lagos i would have said it's a fat lie until recently when i made my research someone sent me a question on how to run successful okrika business here in nigeria and i decided to make a research guys you need to know how many markets i found out just chill with me to the end in this video you're going to learn where exactly to buy okrika akube bill in lagos whether it's bill or in pieces you're going to learn it right here so if you've not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe to this channel like our videos so that youtube will put out more of this you stand a chance for a weekly shout out if you subscribe right away youtube notifies you the moment to post a video now that we are all set in a third world country like nigeria the okrika second hand akube fairly used business is one of the most lucrative profitable ventures in nigeria why because people want to get the best quality for their money while purchasing at a very low rate consequently low income earners and middle class nigerians are now going for the fairly used wares because of the durability the affordability and the looks for instance take an example we want to buy a zara bag probably that brand is going for eighty thousand for a new zara bag the okrika will give that same quality to you the same Zara bag, though not brand new, for probably 8,000 or 5,000 euro. Is that not a steal? That is why middle class Nigerians and low income earners are now going for the fairly used. The fairly used business does not require high capital, but it's in high demand. No wonder it's so profitable. How do you run a successful OK business in Lagos? One, you must have a good taste for ways and you must be consistent with that taste. Imagine you having a store where you have very fantastic taste for ways, probably designers or stuff or anything good anyways the students around you will come to you even when their parents give them their stipends they will set aside money to get clothes workers will set aside money to get clothes every month or even after their contribution the moment they pack their money they are coming right to your store turnover is the second secret to your business so make sure you don't overprice your goods so that you have more customers remember the lower the price the higher the demand you might be able to carry four to five bills a month or even six and that will be more money for you instead of you sitting on one bill and trying to make more money on just one bill. So your turnover is the secret number two. Number three secret to a successful cricket business, discipline yourself to pay for your own clothes. If you're someone like me that likes to shop uh, and you want to start OK business, guys, you need to pay for whatever you pick. That way you'll be more disciplined and successful at your business. Secret number four, don't sell items on credit because you want to make sales. Mm. You are not expected to sell wares on credit to make sales because people don't shop for clothes because they are hungry. As a result, they must pay for whatever they are picking. You can accept deposits from them, keep it till month end when they will come and pick their clothes and let them know that if they don't come on time, you are going to sell off their clothes. Secret number five, pick a niche. What I mean is, narrow down your focus on a particular set of items. Is it for male? Is it for female? Is it for kids? Just be specific as to what you want to start. Don't just go into the business because you want to go into the business. And let's be realistic. If you want to go for male, men don't buy clothes like women. Women keep shopping for clothes even when it is enough. <laughs> I don't know if it's a disease or something and parents do shop for their children all the time even if they are not buying anything for themselves so you can decide to major in female wears or children wears that will actually work for you even if it's shoes or bags as long as it is okay people are willing to patronize you which markets do you buy these okay products in lagos doesn't matter if you're buying in bill or you're buying in pieces the most important thing is to choose a proximity that is close to your own home so i'm going to share with you markets that are close to you because we have different local governments in lagos at least one market should be close to your own local government right the first market is the arena warehouse Ushudi, also referred to as a nigerian army shopping area block w that is where you find them those selling in bills i mean the import Importers. contact the importers make sure that you're not scammed make sure you're talking to a real importer so if your access is around Mushi, Ilupeju, Agege you can decide to go to arena market to get your goods whether you're buying in bill or you're buying in pieces the second is the Katangua market which is at Abekuta Expressway between Ilepo and Abuliegba bus stop the bus stop for that is called super bus stop if you're around the Yanopaja, Songo, Agege, Ikeja, Egbeda, Ikotsu, that is your axis. The proximity is closer to you. You can shop right there. Do you know that I never knew you could get fairly used products at Alaba International Market? Yeah, right. <laughs> 
They sell fairly used products at Alaba International Market. They sell in bills. The word international should even tell me that anything international now, you know, they go bring and come inside. These guys are not slacking. They are selling right there. So if you don't know, know this now. If you're staying around the Yanoba Trade Fair, Mile 2, Okoko, Agbara area, you can go to Alaba International Market for your shopping. The next is a popular Yaba Tejushu Market. Before it used to be Yaba Market, if you're of the with Lagos, when they used to sell on the rail. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> If you're going to uni like back then, you will see these guys selling on the road and they used to have nice things, you know. But right now, they are between Yaba and Teju Shu because the government renovated that place and they've been shifted inwards towards Teju Shu. You can get bills there, you can get pieces there and you can get some correct designer stuff right there. So if you're coming from Akoka, Bariga, Bagada, Badia, that is your axis. The proximity of that market is closer to your place. Badagri market, because of its proximity to Bene, Kotonu, it is so much cheaper to get your bill right there. Only that if you are coming from a far distance, the customs will disturb you. So if you are in that Agbara axis, Owode axis, you get exactly what you want at very good rates. Next is the Bali market, Lagos Island, off Broad Street. If you're looking for belts, bags, office corporate wares, guys, you will get it right there at Bali Market. And they really do designer stuff. Talk of trousers, suits, and stuff. So if you're coming from Aja, Leki, VI, Ikoi, Bariga, Yaba, you guys can go to that exist for your corporate okay wares. Next is the Answani Market. So if you're living at Maltu, Ajao, Isolo, Orile, that exists generally. That is your market for okay akube fairly used products so if you want to buy in pieces or in also guys they've got you covered you can always get your stuff there and this week's shout out goes to somi jaffet thank you for subscribing to our channel we're really so excited to have you as part of our community may you continue to soar high please share our videos with your family and friends and if you have not subscribed kindly click that subscribe button the like button you know you stand a chance for a weekly shout out and youtube notifies you the moment we post a video Please keep sharing our videos and we are sure to supply you more.